Hi everybody, I'm Alex Ross and I'm going to be taking over the BU Instagram account for this week's Terrier Tuesday. So stay tuned and I'm going to take you through a day in my life. Okay, so usually I work at a camp in the morning, but because it is disgusting out here in Boston, Massachusetts, well not really Boston, I live outside of Boston, but um, it's gross out and we can't bring the kids inside because of the guidelines and social distancing. So if it rains, we get rained out and then there's no camp. So you guys get to hang out with me on my day off instead. Um, I got cut off, but that's okay. Um, I was going to say, uh, if you guys have any questions for me, I'm gonna put up the little box thing. I'm new at this, but we'll figure it out together. I'm gonna put up the box thing and try to answer any questions you guys may have. I'm very excited. Um, and then I will take you just kind of through whatever the day brings. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not used to having the day off. It hasn't rained yet for camp, so this is the first day off, but we're gonna make the most of it. You don't wanna know how long it took me to figure out where the questions come up, but here we are, I did it. Um, what is it like being on BU TV 10? It's awesome, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite things, if not the best thing that I get to do at BU. Um, I've known I wanted to do broadcast journalism. So I'm gonna keep getting cut off, just bear with me. I'm figuring it out. Um, I've known I've wanted to do it pretty much forever. Um, I've met some amazing people. My co-producers are the best humans ever. The opportunities I've had through BETV10 have been mind-blowing. Um, back in March for Super Tuesday, I got to go up and report live from Bernie Sanders um, campaign headquarters, which was just mind-blowing. My brain is melting. I don't even know how else to describe it. <laughs> So I'm in the car, I'm parked, don't worry. I know the seatbelt doesn't really need to be on, but it's fine. Um, I'm in the parking lot of a little convenience store in the center of my town because one of my articles got published in a local paper today, which was exciting, but it's one of the papers that doesn't come to my house normally, I don't know why. So I had to go pick it up. There she is. Well, that's not it, but that one's me. So exciting. My AP biology teacher just so they asked me to write a piece on her, which was so cute and exciting. So I just picked up two copies, one for me and one for her. Tuesday is also the day during the week that I update my blog, or I try to make it Tuesdays. I think last week I didn't do one, and the week before that it might have been a Wednesday. But I try to be consistent on Tuesdays. Um, it was my little quarantine passion project that I started just because I love to write and I missed writing and it keeps me busy. Um, so I just posted a new one like two seconds ago, if anyone is interested in that. Here it is. Um, and there is the website, a full on shameless self plug. Hey everybody, I am wrapping up my day. I drove into the city to meet my roommate, Manu. There she is. <laughs> this is the first time I've been out to a restaurant in this whole thing, so that was exciting. We came in, sat down with our masks, and then when you sit down, you get to take the masks off in case anyone was wondering. I do have it, <laughs> just so you're all aware. Um, if you have, I'm sorry I didn't get to everyone's questions. There were so many, you guys have so many great questions, but I will put, link my own profile up here, you know, put it up there so you can see it. Um, and the DMs are always open. I had so much fun with this today, so I'm signing off.